Low blood pressure is defined by a systolic or top number, less than 90 mm of mercury and a diastolic or bottom number, less than 60. However, if a person is generally healthy and shows no symptoms, even lower measurements can be considered normal. The first and most common symptom is dizziness and lightheadedness, which occurs because the brain does not receive an adequate supply of blood. This is especially common when a person stands up too quickly from a sitting or lying position, a phenomenon known as orthostatic hypertension. The second most common symptom of low blood pressure is fainting, occurring when blood pressure drops significantly and leads to a temporary loss of consciousness. The third most common symptom is blurred vision, caused by reduced blood flow to the eyes, leading to temporary vision problems. This symptom should not be ignored and requires further investigation to determine the cause of hypertension. Fatigue and weakness arise because the organs do not receive sufficient nutrients and oxygen, leading to sensations of weakness and tiredness. Nausea is the fifth symptom, as low blood pressure can cause abdominal discomfort and a feeling of nausea, sometimes associated with cold, slightly sweaty skin. Now, let's discuss the causes of hypertension. The most common cause is dehydration or a lack of fluid in the body, which can occur during diarrhea or vomiting, or in a hot environment with excessive sweating and insufficient fluid intake throughout the day. Additionally, diuretics, which are used to treat high blood pressure, heart issues such as heart failure, heart valve problems, heart attack, or a slow heart rate, can also cause hypertension. Endocrine problems, including hypothyroidism, low blood glucose levels, and, in some cases, diabetes, can lead to low blood pressure. Moreover, large meals can cause postprandial hypertension, and anemia is a common cause of hypertension. The first line of symptomatic treatment for hypertension typically includes increasing fluid and salt intake. However, caution is advised with salt intake if the individual has heart failure or kidney failure due to the potential for exacerbating these conditions. Compression stockings can be beneficial in many cases by reducing the pooling of blood in the legs and alleviating symptoms of hypertension, particularly orthostatic hypertension. Eating small, frequent meals can help improve postprandial hypertension. Physical maneuvers, such as crossing legs and tensing thigh, buttock, and abdominal muscles before or during the transition to an upright posture, can effectively manage orthostatic hypertension. A moderate intake of caffeinated beverages like coffee or tea may temporarily boost blood pressure for those experiencing hypertension. Midodrin is approved specifically for treating orthostatic hypertension by increasing blood pressure through vascular constriction. Ephedrin is another drug that can effectively increase blood pressure, though it is not commonly used due to potential side effects and the availability of other treatments. From a supplemental standpoint, vitamin B12, iron supplements, and caffeine supplements can also help increase blood pressure. Vitamin B12 and iron are crucial for the production of red blood cells, which can improve anemia-related low blood pressure, while caffeine supplements offer a temporary boost in blood pressure similar to caffeinated beverages.